So referee is Mike Hicks, linesman Paul Staniforth and Chris Wells. And if you're only as good as your last game, the Cardiff Devils have got a lot of improving to do. They need to bounce back from their 11-0 embarrassment in Sheffield and get their title run back on track. And they'll be hoping that a short bench Stingray team And it proves a little bit easier than the Steelers did on Wednesday night. Of course, the Cardiff Devils are Challenge Cup champions. Already one trophy in the bag as they make the push for that league title. And trophy two, still in contention for the Earhart Conference as well as Martin gets the shot. Save is made on the follow-up, is just wide. Big early chance for Hotham, and he missed the target after the first shot came back off Brown. One goes into the far corner where Jameson will do battle with Lord. Now for Galbraith. Doesn't get it out of the zone. And will do at the second time of asking. I'm not sure 21 seconds is exactly right, but on we go. Walton winds up, shoots, it's kicked away, side of the goal and put in. The ricochet favours the Devils and they have the opening goal. We'll see the puck set up perfectly, but I believe it's hard to slam it in. Brown left helpless as the puck made its way to the far side, and the Devils have the opening goal and the early lead in this game. Towner will send it in deep and turn Batch around. Bounce plays it out, and that caught right at the very top of the glass. Just an inch or so from going over the top and a delay of game. Galbraith taken down. Chilcott with the long shot, tips and scored! Galbraith got his stick on it and the Stingrays have got themselves level. Chilcott's shot took a tip in front. And we are all tied up. Not sure if it was Galbraith or the defenceman. You can see that at the very last moment, bounds get screened. And the left side of that goal is left open. Osman past Hendricks. Knox drives the net, and it's in! And it's there! Brown thought, well, it was kicked in. And I have to say, it looked a little suspect. We'll try and get a replay for you, but the goal will count. Although Ben Bounds is not a happy man because he thinks this has been kicked in by Knox. Was his stick on the ice? We'll try and slow it down for you. Well, that looks like it's in off the skates. Is it a kicking motion? Either way, the goal will count and it'll be a goal for Jordan Knox. The Stingrays have come from behind to lead in this game. Even strength goal at 13.04. But a large slice of controversy. The Devils not able to generate a goal from it. We've got four minutes left in the first period. Clean face-off win for the Devils. Far post, goal, equaliser! Sneaking in at the back post was Carl Hudson. And the finish beyond Brown. And no controversy at all about that one. Jameson brings it on, drops it back to Knox, shot off the blocker, chance for Jameson, oh, as the rebound came back, off Ben Bounds. Wasn't able to settle the puck down and get a shot away. There is a penalty coming now as Knox was taken down. And the Stingrays are going to be enjoying a power play, we've got a holding call. Coming against the Devils, and a little bit of rough stuff behind the goal. Lord is the guilty man heading to the penalty box. And on a two minute holding minor. Not a great power play for the Stingrays so far. And they'll have to go from all the way behind the goal if they want to make something happen in the dying stages of this first period. 
Osman will chase with Richardson. Richardson off the glass and it takes a weird kick and comes back to Bounds, who's happy to cover. So a chance for the Stingrays if they can win the draw. Eight seconds is plenty of time to get a shot away. It's a good win for the Devils. If Morissette can tip this on, which he can, that will bring to an end the first period. And what a period it has been. Plenty of action, plenty of incidents, and four goals, two for each team. And Paul Staniforth is satisfied with the ice condition. And so it looks as though we are finally going to get the second period underway. 2-2 at the start of the second period. Power play on Lord now comes to an end. We are at even strength. And the Devils play it into the zone where Jameson will reach it first. Lord blocks it behind the goal, plays the pass out, and it's blocked before it reaches Brown. And now Lozon leads the charge just as it pokes away from him. Now back in the possession of the Stingrays through Chilcott. Fanned on the pass, wonder if it is still a little sticky on that far side. Towner left that one behind, Martin across the line. And into the far corner. Mitchin just about holds off Chilcott. Jameson across. Galbraith couldn't nudge it down the boards. He can't poke it across the line, the Devils with the shot. The gas deflected out of play off the stick of Jameson. Here comes Knox. Patches without a stick. Pasha's available. Pasha shoots and scores! An even strength goal for the first time this season for Omar Pasha. And it's a bit harsh on the Devils because the broken stick for Josh Batch left him exposed. He couldn't cover the pass inside from Knox to Pasha. And he just moved it onto his forehand and flicked it. Goal four on the season for Omar Pasha. And the Stingrays find themselves back in front at 21-46. So six minutes of the period gone. The only goal of this session so far for Omar Pasha. And Osman has beaten out the icing call. And then he's been taken down. And it's going to be a penalty coming against Hotham. And the Stingrays are going to go on the power play as Andrew Hotham heads to the penalty box. And credit must go to Dominic Osmond for winning the race, negating the icing, and then drawing the high sticking minor. So 26.07 the time of the penalty. And it's Walton who will move forward. Trying to go past Chilcott. Pass out in front, opportunity, oh it's there. Put away by the Devils. The little pass from behind. And finished off for an equalising goal. They had a chance moments earlier, and they finally got it through Culligan. So three successful penalty kills for the Devils. They got back to even strength, and when Culligan got it on his forehand, he made no mistake. A scorer in the cup final last Sunday, and a scorer tonight, his 14th on the season. And we have ourselves a tied game once more. So Walton picks up the assist. Devils looking to get back in front through Lord, and they've done just that. Two in a matter of seconds. It's the Challenge Cup goal scorers again. 
Culligan and now Lord. And the game has taken a turn in the Cardiff Devils' favour. Lord moved it to the backhand and beat the glove of Brown. Two goals in 21 seconds for the Cardiff Devils. Eventually he'll just send it into the zone. And the Devils come straight back out. Final 30 seconds of the period. Puck comes to in front of the goal. It's sitting there and it's been put in by Culligan. It bounced back to him and he put it in for his second of the game. Second of the period and a two-goal lead for the Devils. Who've turned a 3-2 deficit into a 5-3 lead. And you can see the white shirts driving the net and it just comes back perfectly for Chris Culligan to knock it in. 15 on the year now. And it looks like it'll be a two-goal advantage that the Devils take in to the second intermission. Devils might not be done yet, the Stingrays. They'll look for a late counter themselves, Lozon just plays it into the corner. Ralph tried to take it away from Hotham, a long shot comes in and it's blocked in front by Richardson. Might have caused him a little bit of pain as well. Team to catch him in the midsection. We made sure that there was no save for Bounds to make. And Bounds wasn't a busy man in the closing stages of the second period. All the play was away to our right-hand side. And the Devils scored three unanswered, two from Culligan, one from Lord, after Pasha had given the Stingrays the lead in the 22nd minute. We're getting ready for the puck drop. At the start of the third period, the Stingrays have come from behind to take something from their last three home games. They trailed late against Fife, late against Dundee and late against Edinburgh. This would be the most impressive comeback of all if they were to get something from the title-chasing Devils. Bad news for the Devils at the moment, though, is that both of their title rivals are 2-0 up. Stingrays love that outlet pass. Here's Galbraith. Played across, oh, and the shot from Lozon goes just over the top. And then out of play. Frederick to Osman. This time he has got possession, he's got Tanaka going to the crease. Tanaka's there, Bounds has made the save and he's got it held between his pads. And again, Pasha getting involved at the front of the goal. Galbraith will reach this. Galbraith likes to cut in front, save is made and poked in on the rebound! Following up was Towner! He put home the rebound! We're in for a belting final seven minutes here, thanks to Sam Towner! Galbraith, we've seen him cut in front of the goal and get shots off before. This time he came back off the pads of Ben Bounds and was put in by Sam Towner. Four on the year for him and the fourth goal on the night for the Hull Stingrays. Oh, just got too far ahead of him, Batch takes it off. And now feeds Mitchin. Save is made, rebound is loose and Brown has got back to cover up. Oh, and then a little bit of a push in the face. Devils just taking a couple of chances. It's not really a play they need to be getting involved in long after the whistle. We saw a little bit of a breakdown from them late on Wednesday night against the Sheffield Steelers. And we saw a couple of match penalties and an instigator call. They lost their discipline late in that one. They don't need to go down that route tonight. They've got a one-goal lead. Galbraith, Stingrays have got to get forward in a hurry. And Galbraith has taken it all the way. Will he get there ahead of Hotham? Indeed he will, good play from Eric Galbraith. But Martin's onto it. Oh, it's a penalty behind the play. And the Devils are going to end this game short-handed. And the Stingrays are going to have 32 seconds of six on four. Is Galbraith taken down. 
And it's the penalty called against Hotham, I believe. Well, the Singrays, remember, have used their timeout. They will go on this shift with six import forwards. Frederick is a forward, he's been playing deep, and they'll look to use his shot from the left point if they can get the puck back to him. Sent around by Marsh. Picked up by Lozon in his own zone. Oh, an offside as Osman is adjudged to have gone a step too soon and the Stingrays fans and bench are not happy with that decision. They haven't been happy with the linesman all night. And the face-off is going to come back into the Stingrays zone. And so David Brown's going to have to go back in goal. Otherwise the Devils will just shoot straight from the draw. So 22 seconds. Lozon has got it. Oh, they look for the stretch pass to Osman. That puck deflects up, doesn't come out of play. Stingrays have got to get it into the zone quickly. Brown's off for the extra attacker, but we're inside the final 10. The Stingrays need to get the puck out in front of goal, and I don't think they're going to do it in time. Knox with the shot, it comes on goal, and it's been saved by Bounds, and time has expired, and the Cardiff Devils have squeezed home by a single goal. The Stingrays comeback falls just short this time, and the Devils keep their title push on track with a road win by five goals to four.